comfortable again. Almost the exact same time I ran yesterday. Um, of course, I had a race underneath my belt, so I felt a little different. However, I felt honestly, I felt very, very smooth this weekend. So really looking forward to getting some good treatment, get some good rest the next day, and really get, get after all of it. Molly, compared to last, like last year at this time, last year, yeah. championship style event, how, how much different is this year? I have so much more confidence this year. That's the biggest difference um, between last year and this year. Last year I was just trying to just qualify, just qualify. This year it's, man, win your heat. Go out there with confidence. Show everyone that you, you deserve to be here this year. You deserve to be in contention to make it to the big team. So that's my goal. That's my goal this round. Looks like you're one of the top women out there. Is it, when, in the final, are you just thinking about holding it together and running your own race? Yeah, absolutely. I, my race plan has been working. Um, my race plan's not going to change. I mean, that's that's how I am. I'm a very even runner. Um, if it goes out super fast, I know exactly how to counter that. It's to run my own race, and going out in 55 seconds is a suicide race for me. I know that, and I honestly think with the potential that I've been given and the training that I've been having, it's 100% possible to run a different race than going out and sprinting and you know slowly getting on the track. Oh. Um, for me, it's all about confidence. Um, I've lost 10 pounds. No longer a soccer player anymore. I can actually say I'm a track athlete. Um, that was the biggest challenge. I think the total hurdle I had to get through. My body wasn't built to be very, very lean and skinny. So um, that was the biggest obstacle, and it's been. It's taken me a long way this season, both on and off the track. With my confidence in general, when I step out on the track, when I step out in front of very elite girls like this, I actually feel like I belong. And for me, my training has always been perfectly fine. That was the only thing I had that I did not have with confidence. Finally, this year. Perfect timing. <laughs> and how do you get the confidence beyond just is there anybody saying anything? Anybody doing anything? Any you know, um, I think a lot of you know a lot of my support system was guiding me through the way. Um, you know, five years ago, I was kicking a soccer ball around, and I didn't even know how to run track. And this year, it's been a complete change. Um, my my coach, my nutritionist said, you know, you could cut probably three or four percent of your body fat off. The lighter you are, the faster you're going to run. You already have genetic makeup that's very muscular, so that's not that's not what you, you could lose a few pounds of muscle and still be very, very strong. And that's kind of, was more the people that were knowledgeable, but not, you know, my parents would kind of be like, you're getting too skinny. These are my parents. And when I took advice from real professionals is when I took it to heart and I really went after it this year.